which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable which are not state or reasons now for an expression to be a polynomial the criteria is that the power of the terms should not be negative should not be a fraction so we find the power of each term and we check if it is negative or if it is fraction if the power of any one term is negative or fraction it is not a polynomial like here in this polynomial we have 4x square minus 3x plus 7 the first term the power is 2 the second term it is x raised to 1 so power is 1 and for the third term is x raised to 0 so for this the power is 0 so none of the powers are negative nor are they fraction look at 0 it's not uh, 2 it's not negative it's not a fraction 1 not negative not fraction 0 not negative not fraction so we can say 4x square minus 3x plus 7 is a polynomial and it is just has one variable x so it's a polynomial in one variable now let's check if this is a polynomial the power of y square is 2 and the power of under root 2 is under root 2 y is to 0 so the power will be 0 so 2 is not a fraction nor is it negative 0 is not a fraction nor is it negative that means y square plus under root 2 is a polynomial now for the next one I'll just write the terms again Now this 3 into under root t is t raised to 1 by 2 and this is t raised to 1 root 2. The power of the variable here t is 1 by 2 and the power of t is 1. So if you look up at 1 by 2 it is a fraction and now because it is a fraction this cannot be a polynomial so 3 under root t plus t under root 2 is not a polynomial and why is it not a polynomial because the term t under root t has got t raised to 1 by 2 the power is a fraction hence it cannot be a polynomial now let's examine this polynomial is it a polynomial or not this is an expression so I have y plus 2 over y now y plus 2 y when I take it up will be minus 1 the power of y is 1 and here the power of y is minus 1 now this power is negative and because it is negative the expression is not a polynomial so we say this expression not a polynomial and the reason because the second term power is negative now let's check on with this expression here we see the power is 10 y the power is 3 and t the power is 50 it is a polynomial but in not in one variable in three variables we want a polynomial in one variable so this does not satisfy the condition this is a polynomial in three variables we want just one variable so we can say this is not a polynomial in one variable 
n1 it is not a polynomial in one variable write the coefficients of x square in each of the following so i have 2 plus x square plus x i need to write the coefficient of x square now just look at x square there's no number before it means there must be a 1 so i will write coefficient of x square in 2 plus x square plus x is 1. Now for the next polynomial, so if 2 minus x square plus x cube. And they said find the coefficient of x square. So here is x square. And the coefficient of x square here will be minus 1. So we write down coefficient of x square in 2 minus x square plus x cube is minus 1. Now so for the next one, we, the coefficient is pi, I mean the expression is pi by 2 x square plus x we need to find the coefficient of x square. So this is the term with the x square and the coefficient of the x square will be here pi over 2. So for pi over 2 x square plus x coefficient of x square is pi by 2. Now to find the coefficient of x square in this expression under root 2x minus 1. And if you notice here there is no x square at all. So we just rewrite this. Since there is no x square I can put 0 x square. 0 x square is like 0. So if you add or subtract 0 it makes no difference. Now I can decide which is the coefficient of x square. So if you see here coefficient of x square in under root 2x square plus 0. This is just x, not x square. 0 x square minus 1 is 0. This is the coefficient of x square because this is the x square term and the coefficient of x square is 0. Give one example of a binomial with degree 35. Now binomial means having two terms and the next condition it has to have degree 35. So I can just write like maybe x plus x square. Now degree I have to make 35. So I will put x raised to 35. Now this is a binomial because it has got two terms and the highest power is 35. So the degree is 35. Next we need to write a mononomial of degree 100. So mononomial means it should have one term. So it could be just A and degree 100. So raised to 100. Find the degree in each of the following polynomials. Now degree is the highest power. Here we have three terms. One, two, three terms. The power of this term, first term is 3. The power of the second term is 2. And the power of the third term here is 1. Now, which is the highest power? You see the highest power is 3. Therefore, the degree of 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x is 3. Now, to find the degree of this expression, 
here we have 4 minus y square. Now the 4 power of 4 is 0. Now why is it 0? Because I will write this as pi raised to 0. And the power of y square is 2, which is the highest power. 2 is the highest power. So 2 is degree of 4 minus y square. Now to find the degree of this expression, so we have 5t minus under root 7. The degree of 5t, I mean the power of 5t is t raised to 1, so power 1. And here will be x raised to 0, or t, it's a polynomial in t, right, so we cannot write x. It should be t raised to 0, so here the power is 0. Now circle in the highest power. So 1 is the highest power. So degree of polynomial 5t minus under root 7 is equal to 1. Now to find the degree of this term, what is the power of this? It will be x series to 0. So here we have the power is 0. So degree of 3 is 0. Another important point we need to know is this. See, 3 is a constant number. It does not change. So, and we can say the degree of a constant polynomial is 0. Let us give examples of constant polynomial. Any number like 100 is a constant. It does not change. So like minus 63, constant, does not change. All will have say a raised to 0. We, make, we can put y raised to 0. So the degree of a constant polynomial is 0. Classify the following as linear, quadratic and cubic. This classification is done as per the degree. Linear are those that have degree 1. Quadratic have degree 2. And expressions that have got degree 3 are called cubic. So if it is degree 1, we call it linear. Degree 2, we call it quadratic. Degree 3, we, got, we call it cubic. So in this one, now we need to find what is the degree. So we have x square plus x. The power here is 2 and the power here is 1, which is the highest power is 2. So here the degree is 2 equal to 2. And if degree is 2, it is quadratic. Expressions with degree 2 are called quadratic. Now for the next one, we have x minus x cube. Here this is degree 1. And here we have degree 3, which is the highest degree. The highest degree is 3. So the highest power. So the degree of this polynomial is equal to 3 and because the degree is 3 I can say it is a cubic polynomial now for y plus y square plus 4 let's write the power in the first case the power is 1 in the second case, the power is 2. And here, the power will be 0 because I can write this as y raised to 0. Now, we need to pick up which is the highest power. The highest power is 2. So, degree of polynomial is equal to 2. And if the degree is 2, it is a quadratic polynomial.
Now here 1 plus x the power is 0 and here the power is raised to 1. So it will be 1. Now I think you know why this power is 0 because I can write this as x raised to 0. So the power is 0. Now the highest power is 1 which is hence the degree. So degree of polynomial is equal to 1. Therefore, it is linear. Degree 1 means linear polynomial. Now, 3 raised to t. Here the degree is 1. So, the power is 1 and 1 also would be the degree. So, degree of polynomial is 1 and the polynomials with degree 1 are called linear. It is a linear polynomial. Now for r square. Now r square will definitely agree the degree of, of uh, this expression is 2 because degree is 2 it is a quadratic now 7 x cube it is 3 here which means the degree is 3 and its degree is 3 it is quadratic. No, not quadratic. It is cubic. Quadratic is 2. Cubic is 3. 